Hi, I'm Kelsey from Morgantown, West Virginia. My plant is probably not going to make it, and this is what I'm doing right now. Well, good morning vlog. I am in Arizona now. Michael asked me to film some stuff for you guys to see while I was here. Welcome to the first day of my vacation. Today is a special day. Yes, it is. Why is today a special day? Because mm, it's your last day at Complexly. It's my last day at Complexly as an Ooh. official full-time employee. I guess I'm not so gonna be exciting. anything unofficial. I'm gonna become an official contractor of Complexly starting Monday. Today I'm starting my day off with a meeting with the guy who is interested in employing Cinema Studios to produce some advertisement video stuff. After that, I'm going to be at Complexly to shoot an episode of SciShow Quiz Show. Two episodes of SciShow Quiz Show, I think. And then uh, I've got to work on some Crash Course Sociology for Crash Course Film Criticism, which I'm hosting. Tonight we're watching Citizen Kane. Every Friday for the next, like, 15 Fridays, we are watching a movie that's going to be a part of Crash Course Film Criticism so that we can critique it. What are the other parts of Crash Course Film? There's Crash Course Film History, which is being hosted by Craig Benzine. There's Crash Course Film Production, which is being hosted by Lily Gladstone. And then Crash Course Film Criticism, which is being hosted by Moi. Who is Lily Gladstone? She's a Montanan, I think she is Blackfeet, but she's been spending a lot of time in Los Angeles recently. I was going to say, does she need a job? But it sounds like she does not need a job. She does not need a job. <laughs> when we were working on pre-production for Kate Tectonics, Lily was one of the people that I reached out to about using native music in Kate Tectonics because we wanted to make sure that the native music we were using was appropriate. But since we're talking about geology in Montana, Montana's history goes back further than just the European influence that came in, obviously. We wanted to honor the fact that before the colonists came into this land, it belonged to somebody else. So that's why there's like, there's pictures of a local uh, tribe leader from this area uh, on the Cape Tectonic set. I guess I need to figure out where we're going. There's Mr. Toddley. Hello, Mr. Todd. Montana Technology Center. I've been here before. I'm out of bed now and I'm gonna go on a run. I don't know if Michael's mentioned this, but we're training for the Missoula Marathon and the Half Marathon. And so Michael's doing the marathon and I've never run more than actually like a mile in my life. And so he convinced me to do the half marathon. I've actually had some foot pain, so I'm becoming less hopeful for actually completing it as I run more miles. The most I did was five, and then I actually couldn't walk without pain for a few days. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully if I just take it slow, it'll be doable but um, I'm gonna go run right now. Today is my last day in this little office. So I've started collecting stuff into piles that I can move over the course of the day. I'm ready for that Sasho quiz show. I'm ready. Y'all ready? Yes. Okay. Nicole wins! Nicole? Hank forfeits! I win! <laughs> Hank forfeits! This is us preparing for Sasho quiz show. Ow! Sarah Miesmer is Hank. <laughs> Off. <laughs> Off. That would be harder. There. Is the answer A or B? C. There is always a C. Yeah. Yeah. Not Unless if it's, it's true or true false. false. Yeah. But which is, is true A or true B? <laughs> True is always A, unless it's B. Yeah. Sari was working on the script for this last night, and I told her that I thought it would be funny if, for the intro, I say, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to SciShow Quiz Show, the only quiz show where all the answers are B, and then all the answers are actually B all the way through <laughs> to see if they believe me <laughs> or not. pick up on it. But then at the end, it's D. Ooh, tricky. Oh, yeah, the last one should be different. But it should be about yeah. bees. Right about bees. Yes! But it's different. Holy sh can we rewrite it? Yeah, have Sari write a whole new script. Hi, Rachel. Hi. Welcome to SciShow Quiz Show. If you get nervous at any point in time, remember there's a cat right there, a little kitty. I saw that. I was looking at that. I've well. never seen that kitty before. Yeah. Is that new? I did two miles, and I don't know what it is about the heat, but the sun just sucks the energy out of you. So two miles felt like four miles, 
and uh, I decided to quit. And now I'm going to uh, hang out in this nice pool, in this nice uh, warm water, and get tan. All done filming SciShow Quiz Show. You're cutting off the good parts. Oh, here you go. Oh, I'm for you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Hank, this is from your favorite person, Aristotle. I know. <laughs> oh, wow. So many things. Hank, when I moved out here, I was like one of eight. And now, there's, there's so many people. We've got some cheesecake with strawberries that Caitlin Hoffmeister cut up. Some whipped cream, some Martinelli's, and cock and bowl. Mmm. So these are both unopened, but this one is lower than that one. Weird. The cock and bowl elves to blow us <laughs> What are the cock and bowl elves? <laughs> There's a gift right here. This is a, a gift opening video. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, thank you. This is cool. That is cool. Now that I've had to try and film things, I realize how difficult it is to find things that are interesting to film. I was like, I'm gonna go on a run. I went on a run. Now I'm gonna go in the pool. I went in the pool. My vacation is not that interesting. It's just me sitting in different places uh, in the sun. We're about to watch yeah. Citizen Kane, which I've never seen. I think this movie gets voted like best movie ever made a lot by film critics. They, they, they say that. Okay, I'm ready. Right now we're about to go drive to the aquarium. Hopefully I can get a lot of cool fishes for you guys to see and maybe touch some starfish or something. I know like some of them have like the touch pools. We made it. So uh, we just got our tickets checked in and the guy asked if it was our first time. We said yes and he said, oh, then you need to go to the bathroom first. There's fish in there, so we'll see. So in place of where a mirror would be in front of the sinks, they just have a uh, fish. Done with the aquarium. Uh, I thought it was very fun. Mom, did you like it? Loved it. Loved it. What was your favorite thing? Jellyfish. Jellyfish. And the sea otters and the sea lions. I would say probably the sea lions and the jellyfish were my favorite. Um, but there were no seahorses. Ah, uh, that's true. My mom's favorite is uh, a seahorse. They have options for you to feed penguins and like put a scuba set on and go walk with all of the fishes and pet them, I assume. 
so hopefully I can do that next time. Um, they also have a dolphin enclosure where you can swim with dolphins, and I've swam with dolphins before in Mexico, but like, I assume they let you do a lot more in Mexico with the dolphins than they do here. So it's because they've been drinking tequila. We just finished watching Citizen Kane. I have 4% battery left on my phone. Uh, I just started the next vlog rendering. Uh, I sent an email to the apartment complex that we live in saying that we're definitely moving out in 30 days. So that's official now. I think now I'm going home, leaving the office the final time as an employee of Complexly. Huzzah.